So for example, if I was going to write an email to all of the staff introducing the new company podcast, I would have a template something like this, you know, uh, here's the RSS feed you'll need for our company's private podcast. Please copy that feed URL and follow the steps. In iTunes, open iTunes, select podcast from the drop down menu, go to the file menu and select subscribe to podcast. So let me show you what that looks like. Here is the iTunes desktop app. Over on the left-hand side, I'm going to choose podcasts. And here's a list of all the shows I'm subscribed to. Uh, I'm going to go to the file menu, and then I'm going to go subscribe to podcast. And then I'll paste in that private podcast feed. And if I click OK, here we have the weekly message from the president. Our photo showed up there. And then we have the first episode. I can click play. Hey. And then we have the, the audio play. So this is uh, a great way to communicate with your team, with your employees, with your stakeholders. And again, there's some security in there because it's not discoverable on the web. You need that URL with the username and password. So now let me show you how your employees or team members would add this private podcast feed to their podcast player on their phone, which is where most folks will be listening. So I just got that email that we sent, so I'm gonna click through on that. And here's the RSS feed you'll need for our company's private podcast. I'm going to click on this, I'm going to copy, and now I'm going to go into my podcast player. Uh, in my case, it is Overcast. I'm going to click this plus icon. And then on the upper right hand side, it says add URL. I'm going to click that. You'll see it's auto pasted that, um, that URL, our private podcast feed URL. So I'm just going to click this. And now if I go into my episodes, I will find that episode is downloading right here. Introduction, weekly message from the president. You'll notice there's also a lock icon here to indicate that this is a private podcast feed. And sometimes it takes a little while for that cover art to show up, but you can see now it showed up. We have the summary there at the top, and then the show notes, important links like we mentioned, important dates. All right, so let me show you what this looks like inside the Apple Podcast app. I'm going to load that up, and you'll see your library here. Uh, you can click on that in the bottom, and then we're going to click Edit. Add podcast by URL. We're going to paste in that private URL. And now we are subscribed. We can go back. And here is the weekly message from the president. Now there's one listening app that will not work, and that is Spotify. You cannot add private podcast feeds inside of Spotify right now. Uh, but every other major podcast player, uh, whether you're using Castro or Pocket Casts, it all works the same way. I can load it up, click Discover in the Search tab. I'll paste in that private URL. Search for it. It's going to appear here. Again, sometimes it takes the show art a little while to download, but I can click Subscribe. And now I am subscribed to the private podcast. So I hope that's helpful for you. We have people using this in all sorts of ways. Some people use it to keep in contact with their sales team. Some folks have a private leadership podcast for their leadership team. Uh, another interesting use is authors are using it as a way of uh, giving their readers an audiobook along with the purchase of the ebook or the physical copy. Folks can subscribe to a private podcast feed and have the book read to them. So all sorts of uses for this. We can't wait to see how you use it. You can sign up for an account by going to transistor.fm.